Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, as you probably might know, I'm going to be talking about my mini movie that I made about YouTube behind the scenes. So let's get into it. I'll explain to you if you did not watch the trailer about what YouTube behind the scenes is. So it's basically a mini documentary or maybe a mini movie that I decided to make and I've been working so so much on it and I really really hope you enjoy. But what is it about? It's basically about my opinions on YouTube, how to get started on YouTube, some tips I give for beginners because I'm also a beginner. And also I would like to say that recently my latest videos got quite a more, few more views than I expected. So thank you guys so much for that and I hope you can enjoy this video. So now let's get into stage number one. So the first question is, what was my first opinion on YouTube? And many people ask me this question. Well, let me split it up into four different categories. The first category is different. I believe that YouTube is different from many other social media platforms. And I believe this because it allows creators to interact much, much more with different YouTubers. And also, it allows you to put out your best effort in making content. And it's really, really a place for passion. Now, moving on to the second thing, it's creativity. In YouTube, I always see passion, creativity, and love put into one video. Effort is so, so good. Like, every time I watch a same YouTuber, every, every day, their content just gets better and better and better. Because they have a slight of creativity that other platforms don't allow you to have. Okay, now, the third thing is passion. I believe that YouTube has a big sense of passion. It allows people to grow even more, to grow even better, and to allow your passion to be something different from other social media platforms. Like, to me, my passion is photography and videos, while on YouTube, it's about photography and maybe YouTube as well, like I'm doing now. So that's really, really interesting to me. And now moving to the fourth thing of what I think is really my first opinion on YouTube is community. I can see that YouTube builds a really, really big fan base and it has over so, so many billion of views all together in videos. And it's just amazing how many people collaborate, make comments, or even make videos to make a community grow stronger and stronger. Moving on to the next question is, what con what type of content do you find on YouTube? And this is pretty much a simple question to a answer, but I'm still going to answer just in case some people might not know what type of different things you can find on YouTube. Well, the biggest one is vlogging, like vlogging your daily life or vlogging your weekly life. And this one is getting popular and popular, like there's many, many more YouTubers joining and vlogging every day. Another one is like music, drama, films, short films, which I really, really like this category because it really inspires me to do more and to make myself improve every day on my YouTube channel. And the last one is action. That means like sports, wildlife, outdoor living, and yeah. So the next question is, many of my friends at school ask me this question. It's like, so what kind of YouTube videos do you make? So I like to focus videos on travel and videos like talking with like this with an audience. Now that you got to know a little bit of my opinions on YouTube and what I like to do on my YouTube channel, I would like to move on to stage number two where I start to talk about the differences between different social media apps compared to YouTube. I'm pretty sure that most people know about Instagram and the app and also as well about YouTube and I want to compare both to the platforms and what I think is better to be a creator on. So first of all, let's start with Instagram. So Instagram has 50 most followed accounts with over 2.5 billion followers and also Instagram is a billion dollar worth business. 7 out of 10 YouTubers are now a day growing much over 1 million subscribers monthly and this is also like YouTubers are also starting to be recognized in movies, TV shows, books, even magazines and also 10 minute videos are much much more recognized and can get you boosted up by 20 to 30 percent on the trending page so now what do you think about the difference with instagram and youtube well i think that they're both great platforms but if you're more interested in making videos i would recommend to sticking with 
to. Moving on to the next question is, why do many YouTubers choose YouTube as a platform? Well, this question is a bit like the other questions answer and let me explain it to you more in detail. So first of all, many growing YouTubers slash social media influencers choose YouTube as a platform because it allows them to grow a strong community. So the platform allows you to have daily analytics of how your videos are doing, how they improved in a couple last 28 days, and also how many subscribers are gaining daily. Well, other platforms do not do not allow you to have these features. So this is very helpful for YouTubers to plan out their daily videos and to see how their growth is processing. I think why YouTubers choose YouTube as a platform is because it allows you to express yourself in the way that you like to be expressed. It also allows you to tell your ideas, your opinions on many different things such as like mostly you find this kind of videos in reaction videos where people react to different person's video. Next question I'll be answering, what do people think of YouTube as a career, meaning like as a YouTube creator in a job? So to this question, there's both negative and positive answers. Let's start with the negative. So many people think that it's very easy to be a YouTuber because you only have to make 10 minute videos and you're done for the day. But let me tell you that's not actually true. Because before doing a video, you need to put a lot of time and effort in planning out the video. So first, you have to write a script or maybe like plan your video on what you're going to do, where you're going to do it, and how are you going to film it. Then you also have to record it, which takes much, much more than 10 minutes because some clips do not turn out like how you want them to turn out. And lastly, the publishing and editing takes a long time depending on how long your video is and how good you want the quality to be. Positive things. So having YouTube as a career for some people is very positive because it allows you yes to have some more free time in your day but it also allows you to have experiences that might not be able in other jobs such as traveling, meeting with celebrities and doing collabs with other famous celebrities. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little thing I like to call YouTube behind the scenes. And if you would like to see something more like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what would you like to see next. And remember, I do have some big ideas coming soon, so stay tuned. Also, I would like to thank all of you guys for liking my current videos. I recently reached over 1K plus views in total on my YouTube channel. And yes, this is small. But to me, it's something very, very big because it allows me to improve, to grow better, and to build a better audience. So make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that, and hit that post notification bell. And see you next time. Bye!